Hi guys, it's me, Lunar. Welcome back to another daily Skyrim Call of Mod video, episode 160, where we go over the latest and best mods out for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in Skyrim Special Edition. If you have not done so yet, check out today's previous video for five more console mods. Right now, we are mixing up the mods with the new and older ones that we have not covered before. I don't think we have anything to go over since I saw you a few hours ago, so let's just jump into our first mod. Our first mod is the Sewers of Skyrim. The current version of the mod adds an accessible sewer system to the towns of Solitude, Whiterun, Windhelm, and Markarth, and also small sewage tunnels to Fort Sungard and Greenwall as well. The Solitude system has three exits to the outskirts of the city and several others into dungeons and other buildings. Windhelm also has two main exits and connections to other dungeons. Whiterun has three main exits outside of the town walls as well, which you can see in the video I enter through one of those. Markarth Stewards, which is the smallest one, has one exit into the left hand mine. The mod also includes four custom weapons and some unique books inside of them as well. So they're pretty dark, they're full of loads of skeevers and mud crabs, but they're really cool and immersive and I like having them in the game. Our next mod is a simple mod, but a very interesting one. The mod adds a magic box to Whiterun that gives you new spells allowing you to grow trees and mushrooms. Just equip whichever tree spell you want to grow and then point at the ground and fire. Then a new tree will suddenly appear. You can destroy the tree at any time you want to as well. The mod covers pretty much all tree species in the game and includes unique plant species such as the trees in the Soul Cairn and the Blackreach glowing mushrooms. The mod works anywhere, including inside dungeons and buildings, just like any other spell would. It's not meant to attack anyone with, but rather just for fun, and it definitely is a cool mod to try out. This mod reintroduces the basic attributes of strength, endurance, agility, speed, intelligence, willpower, personality, and luck into Skyrim. These attributes were once a core of the character development in Oblivion and Morrowind, and they made those games more interesting to play in some ways because of the increased options gained through using them. Now they are back and better than ever using this mod. Each attribute has an innate effect on your character's derived attributes, such as health, stamina, or magicka. Other effects include carry weight for your strength and movement speed from your speed attribute. These also affect how much damage you do with your weapons, how easy it is to pick lock or pickpocket, how long your spells last and much more. Attributes tend to boost gameplay that focus on a single playstyle, such as warrior, sneak or mage. Your attributes will grow with your skills. Each attribute has a new enchantment type that has been placed on rings and necklaces throughout the game. They can be disenchanted and placed on many items as well. You can find a complete guide to how all of your attributes work at Dragon's Reach on a table near Faringer. Overall though, a cool mod, I miss the ability to increase your attributes like you could in Oblivion, and I hope they bring it back to the next Elder Scrolls game as well. Our next mod of the day is the Twilight Armor, and it allows you to combine the final leveled version of the Nightingale Armor pieces with the Dark Brotherhood Armor pieces at the Forge to create the Twilight Armor pieces. Twilight Armor has greatly increased value in all of the enchantments of both the pieces required to make it. You also combine the Twilight Armor pieces with the Ancient Shrouded Armor to make Ancient Twilight Armor pieces, which have even greater value, the upgraded enchantments from the Ancient Shrouded Armor, and each piece has slightly greater armor rating than Dragon Scale, so they're very powerful. Also included is the ability to upgrade each of the lower level Nightingale armor and weapon versions to the final version. Doing this requires the armor piece or weapon and a filled Grand Soul Gem. Each piece can be tempered with a single Void Salt, just like normal Nightingale armor can be. So overall, I really like this mod. It's simply the Nightingale armor, but stronger with unique enchantments from other unique armors on them. It would be cool to see the armors mix and match as well visually, but it's still cool just to have the Nightingale armor with all the cool enchantments on them. Our final mod is an awesome one and adds to the game an auto crossbow. First the original mod has a small story so we can read a little bit about them. The Thalmor have found some old Dwemer schematics and are building the Dwemer's most fearsome weapon, automatic crossbows. Scouts have found that they have converted Reachwind Eyrie, a Dwemer tower southeast of Markarth and northeast of Dushnik Yal, into a research outpost. Can you stop them before it's too late? So the mod adds three automatic Dwemer crossbows to the game. The Dwemer Kiro Ballistra, a heavy semi-automatic crossbow, a Dwemer Polyballis, a light bursting firing automatic crossbow, and that's the one that I'm using in the video. The automatic Dwemer crossbow, a fully automatic crossbow, and you can find them and some schematics for them, apart from the automatic Dwemer one, at the Reachwind Eerie. All crossbows can be used by any of the NPCs in the game, and you need the smithing perk in order to make them as well. So if you're looking for an awesome automatic crossbow in the game, then check out this mod. So guys, there we have it, five more awesome console mods that you can download and check out for yourself if you like the look of them in the video. 
I want to thank all of you for watching, and I'll be back again soon with more Skyrim videos. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest releases, click on the subscription button on the screen if you haven't done so yet, or click on my link to my previous video to keep up to date with all my latest content, including more mods, guides, and news every single day. Turn on notifications, the little bell thing next to the subscribe button as well to get notified of my latest videos as soon as they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more information. Well, with all that being said, guys, until next time, stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video.